Hello there. This is Dave Motohead. I'm out here in my garage and it's 105 degrees and really hot and yucky. Anyway, uh, I wanted to show you guys the striper. It's done, ready for the road. Uh, we're going to put the disc brakes on a different front end and rebuild it and then just swap it out. But uh, anyway, this is the striper is ready for the road video. Alright, so here you go. A couple things of note. Here's the cool little bench blaster that Phil gave me. A little carb section and a couple of quick steering arms I'm going to try to reproduce. Here's those bitchin' carb spacers. Big old suckers. Anyways, here's the, the cool little key fab. It says Corvair on it. I don't know if you can see that. But it says Corvair on it. And it's a little key fab. And Bob, whatever you want to call it, and little keys flip out. Anyway, there's the striper in all of its glory. I spent all morning cleaning it up and scraping sap off of it. It had tons and tons of sap all over it. And it's even got its cool little course of hubcaps and it's got its uh, rear end all fixed up looking good been trying to shine it unfortunately the the glass in this thing's a little bit a little bit tore up and uh, there's the cool little new mirrors and the windshield's got some scrapes in it you can't get out in the trunk we've got the new washer bottle and rebuilt master cylinder and all that stuff and there's Phil's little box of goodies I screwed the the little trunk replacement part in. It's got a hole in the trunk. That's the only rust I can find on this car. Anyway, it's all ready to go up front here. And uh, it's probably the cleanest the striper's been in years and forever. It sits nice and low now. It looks beautiful. We're going to keep this Corsa emblem on the front because it's kind of cool. Kind of a cool thing at it from this side. Striper's got a really nice body on it. It doesn't really have any dents so to speak and there's the other cool mirror and probably the shiniest the Striper's looked forever. Anyway, I even adjusted the windows here. The windows didn't line up and I adjusted all the doors. You just barely push them. So all that's good. And, whew, man it's hot in here. Anyways, we're going to roll the window down here. It's pretty hot. Anyways, I've uh, put a back seat in it. It's a 66. I even put some little speakers back there for Phil, for his radio. And uh, it's got decent carpet in it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And these are some old seats that he had. Let's go inside. Whoops. And uh, anyway, this is how the striper looks now. Horn works. <laughs> Fixed all that. It's got dash all rebuilt. It's got a good radio in it. Put a put the glove box in there. The light even works. And the uh, carpet's all all good. Good to go. Everything up underneath this thing's rebuilt. Pretty much uh, went through 90% of the car. Let's uh, strap it up, and if you can hear, I put my little hidden switch under here for the, uh, you gotta turn the key on, for the fuel pump if you ever need to prime it. I don't know if you can hear it. Probably not. Anyways, all the lights work. Let's start her up. Fire's right up. Got the good, good wheel here. The only thing I didn't fix is that. The backwards, it's the backwards uh, dome light. I went to take the cover off to put a new bulb in it and it just disintegrated in my hand. So I'll leave that for Phil as a reminder of what kind of shape this thing was in when I started. But as you see, the, the door panels are white and I painted the dash black and the steering column black now. So it all looks good, blinkers work. Everything works good. 
I adjusted the door so they close nice and tight. Striper's looking good. Just sitting there purring right along. Got some water coming out the exhaust because I just I just washed it. Anyway, there's the striper motor sounding good. Everything's been been redone here. Got battery box all redone, everything's painted. Everything's good. Striper seems to run really, really sweet. Nice slow idle. It seems to run really, really good. It's nice and quiet now. All the smoke's gone. I think the rings are set. Just nice little striper all ready to go. Striper seems to seems to sound good and run good. I want to uh, take it for a drive, but it's not registered. Got good brakes now. Clutch is adjusted right. need feel to register this thing so we can uh, take it for a test drive here anyway everything seems to be in line the stripers uh, turned out to be a really nice car anyways there's the striper seems to be all good all it needs is a little test drive to uh, go down the road and see what's up. And then uh, got one more thing on the agenda. That. And the challenge is going to be to put that in that. Anyways, I'm Dave Motohead. And uh, all we need is for Phil to come over and... Give the striper a test drive and see how she goes down the road. Hopefully it runs good and uh, only minor adjustments. You never know until uh, until you get on the road and give it a you know a run through to see how it's going to go. I told Phil that his warranty is good for one gear shift or 50 feet, whichever comes first. This is Dave Motorhead and thanks for watching.